Hey everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, Chatting with Chops. I thought we'd have some fun today and try and make a vegan blueberry banana bread with a little bit of pecan sprinkled in. So the first thing we wanna do is take a half a cup of regular vegetable shortening. And I've shown you this in my videos before. I'm loving these little plunger type measuring cups. They work fantastic when you're working with peanut butter or shortening or something that's very um, dense like this is. So really all you do is you just plunge it all the way up and then I just scrape it off with a knife. And the next thing we need to add in here is our sugar, which we have one cup of granulated sugar that we're gonna add in here. And then we're just gonna mix that up until it's all nice and creamy. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is add in two eggs, which since we're gonna be making this vegan, we're gonna add in our applesauce. And these are the little four ounce cups that equal out to be two eggs. So I'm just gonna pour that in. Make sure I got it on. Have not made this recipe before and I definitely have never made it vegan before. So we'll see how this is gonna turn out. And then also we wanna add in our vanilla. And I like using this vanilla bean paste. And we need two teaspoons. All right, fantastic. All right, now we're gonna mix that in. In a separate bowl is we wanna combine our two cups of flour. And we're gonna take one teaspoon of regular baking soda should we get all of it and then we need a half a teaspoon of salt okay and I'm just gonna stir that together a little bit just so we can make sure everything is all mixed in real good and then we're gonna add our dry to our wet Okay, so I'm gonna mix this up just a little bit, make sure everything's looking really good. And then the next thing I need to do is add my banana. And we've got two mashed up bananas here. So we're gonna add that in. Just mix that in wonderfully, make sure everything is all incorporated. I want to make sure that every slice of bread has some banana in it. All right, now we're going to add in our blueberries and we're going to be a little bit more gentle with our blueberries. Okay, we're going to just gently mix those in. And then I thought I would change things up a little bit and I'm going to add about a half a cup of walnuts just to give it a nice little crunch. All right, so now I have a nice sprayed little loaf pan that I'm gonna use, and I'm just gonna pour all of this into my loaf pan. That was really easy. Okay, just kind of get that down, make it a little bit more even. All right, we're gonna put this in a 350 degree oven and we're gonna cook it for about 30 to 35 minutes. And when it comes out all nice and brown and done, with the toothpick all clean, I will bring you back and show it off to you. Well, there you go. Now I will say the recipe suggested you cook the, these in several small pans and I just cooked mine all in one big one. So it definitely took a lot longer. 
um, I would say I probably cooked it for about an hour where the recipe said about 30 minutes. So all I'm gonna do is just let him sit here and cool right now for about 10 minutes, and then we'll take him out of the baking dish and let him cool completely before we cut him. I'm trying to see if we can get the sky to come out of here in one piece. That would be nice. And perhaps not slide all over everywhere. That would be nice too. Okay. Flop that over. That's what should have happened the first time. <laughs> Maybe that's the video footage I should use, huh? All right, we're gonna let him sit here and cool for a while before we cut into him, but he's looking pretty good. He's a little over, but he just would not dry out for me. He was staying way too wet, so we're gonna let him sit here and rest, and then we'll cut him up in just a minute. More like about an hour. It's definitely firmed up a good bit. Ooh, nice and crumbly. Okay. Ooh, yes, definitely nice and crumbly. Look at there. You see all those beautiful blueberries? Well, I have to admit, I'm not a huge banana lover, but that's really good. The banana is more of a quiet taste. It's kind of a little bit in the background. But mostly you're tasting the blueberries and this nice, beautiful cake-like texture. So I'm gonna call this a success. It's not the most beautiful um, banana bread or blueberry bread I've ever made, but there you go. Blueberry banana bread with a little bit of pecan stirring in there. Hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you. Thing rack to kind of dump him out very unceremoniously. And then we're gonna put him, woo! Okay. We're gonna see if we can get him to flip back over. Well, there we go.